Hey everybody, this is going to be another two minute video with some more information tacked on to the end, but I just want to get to the most important stuff that I want to talk about at the beginning so you can watch it move on with your life. And for those of you who are interested about learning more about what I'm doing in alchemy, then you can stick around and talk. Okay, so what I'm looking at is creating a long build in a patch with alchemy that doesn't restart every time you hit a key. So if you play something, and I'm gonna move my mouse over to uh, this particular envelope right here, it's AHDSR number two. I'm gonna hold a chord and you'll see that little blue, well, the line. Super cool, it has a really cool sound. It builds over time. If I'm holding the note um, and play another note, as long as I keep something held or the sustain pedal, it will continue to grow. And anytime I let go of everything, then it'll stop and start over. The way that we set this up was through the filter. I have the cutoff frequency turned all the way down. I right click on it, add modulation, choose the envelope that I want. In this case, uh, I'll just show you a new envelope and we pull this out like this to however long we want. And we come over here, this is uh, AHDSR number four. So I have to make sure that number four is turned up. The key thing with all of this is when you have this assigned, is to come down here to where it says trigger and turn it off. So let me show you one other tip with this because uh, if you're playing something and you actually let go of everything, then, then maybe you think you have to re-record, but you don't. Come down here into our Piano World Editor and open up our automation right here. And we're going to switch this to a sustain. Say like this is one, like we wanted to go two more bars or something. Um, so I'm just gonna click down here and I'm gonna move this up like that. So then the sustain happens over that break. So that's it for the, the two minute tip. Now I wanna just explain a little bit more about this patch because uh, that certainly probably isn't any wave uh, or saw, saw wave shape that you've ever heard before. And um, one of my absolute favorite things about alchemy is that you can just layer a modulator on a modulator on a modulator. or uh, And so you can create really complex things. And I wanted a little bit of like just jittery noise in there. And so I'm using the saw as my main source. And then the only thing that's happening with that saw is that this, uh, this sync option is moving around a little bit. So sync, uh, it takes two different wave shapes and as one of them uh, in relationship to the first one uh, is a different pitch or a different frequency, uh, as that wave shape changes and moves, every time that the, the wave shape starts over in the one, it forces the original wave shape to start over. So you end up with a wave shape that's starting over out of its cycle and you can, get some really cool harmonics and sounds and um, just a lot of things happening with that. But uh, you still have like a synth type sound, but this uh, is being modulated. So you can see as I hold that, that little white dot is bouncing all over the place. It's being modulated by LFO which is this pattern one. It's this kind of a, uh, it's not a random, but it's this pattern that they've pre-programmed. But you'll see this orange line over the amount um, and also over the, the actual speed right here. Uh, because with this, let's go to LFO two rate. You'll see that LFO three is modulating the rate of LFO2. And if we go to the LFO3, that LFO4 is modulating LFO3 with this uh, disrupted cycle wave shape. Uh, and so I'm just modulating one layer after another just to get this like jittery noise in here. And I don't know, I think that might be all of them. 
Here's the cutoff for filter one. There's the sync option. I think we're good. That's all of them. So the, all just that basic, the four, well, it's really uh, LFO four, LFO three and LFO two. And then that one feeds into the sync. And so we're getting a really complex jittery thing happening there. And then the only other thing on this patch that I have is the volume. And that is attached to the sequencer. You don't hear it because um, it's attached to the performance pads. get all this rhythm happening, which I love. And it's really not that complicated, although it's actually really complicated if you have to track down all of those different LFOs and then figure out what's happening here with the sequencer. Uh, and so there are some things to it that make it a little bit tricky. The only other thing I think that I'm doing at all with this uh, is that I have, uh, right now it's not detuned, um, but I have a unison mode. which sounds good with 16. But with the uh, sync mode being modulated, the detune sounds better at zero. Okay, so that's it for this. I just wanted to walk you through this cool modulation thing. The most important part of the whole video was the AHDSR envelope, uh, which is set to go all the way up. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you later.